My name is Callum Drysdale. I am 34 years old. Um, I was born in Scotland, raised up uh, in Hertfordshire, uh, and I'm a watch commander for Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue Service. I've been uh, working for the fire service for 16 years. We respond to emergency calls, where we go out and we help members of the public. That might be fires, could be road traffic collisions, it could be medical incidents. During the incident, when the adrenaline's going, we are trained professionals. We will do our job regardless of, of what has happened. Um, you know, this summer we have had unprecedented amount of wildfires. Uh, we responded to over 400 uh, fires within a 24 hour period. We've got a, a huge influx of, of new firefighters who are in development, um, who I am completely responsible for mentoring, ensuring that they are number one safe on incident ground, ensuring that they are well looked after. We treat each other like brothers and sisters and we look, look out for each other. So I, I know I can always talk to the guys. Mental health is, uh, is extremely important. If the, the noggin isn't working, then the rest of your body isn't. So, you know, hopefully by us opening up, it can prove that there might be a stigma about male firefighters not being able to talk, but actually being able to talk and being able to exercise and be able to move your body, hopefully that can encourage other people to as well. We're professional and I'll always put myself, if a mother's in that, that vehicle, if a father's in that vehicle, a grandmother, grandfather, brother, sister, son, well, they become my mother, they become my father and I'll make sure that I'm doing absolutely everything I can to help that person. And that, that, that does come at a cost for, for individuals involved. I'll never forget, my mum was choking on a bit of food and she did a really sudden <gasps> and it took me back to an incident where we were giving CPR to an, an individual and they were taking their last breaths. And I mean, that was months connected. Well, oh, I'd recently become a father and we went to an RTA and there was some children involved and the children were the same age as my children and I found that extremely difficult. And I had to, I had, the first time ever I had to walk away, I had to have a word with myself and then come back to the incident ground and make sure that I was doing my job correctly. I just had to have a really deep breath and I had to say, be professional. Um, you know, these people are relying on you. A, a big release for me is, is to get out of my bike and hit the road. Uh, the sense of freedom and movement and the turning of, of the legs and the, the rhythmic motion of it and just the act of breathing heavily, um, it relaxes me, it, it, it's, it releases endorphins in my body, it makes me feel alive. In those 45 minutes it takes me to get from A to B, I can take off my watch commander hat, plant that down, and then when I get home I can, you know, I can be a, a dad.